Hey guys, this week we're going to take a look at project management and how that works with Advanced Warehouse. So I got a question earlier this week um, about can, can the uh, Advanced Warehouse module handle item requirements in, a, in project management module? So what we're going to do today is look at how we can create item requirements in the project management module and then we're going to go ahead and release those to the warehouse and pick those, okay? So just to start off on the setup of this, there's really no setup you have to do on the um, advanced warehouse module if you already set up for sales orders. So basically what the project management item request does is it creates a sales order called item request that you um, basically pick from, okay? So as long as you have your sales order work templates and location directives, all that set up for sales orders, you should be good to go for project management. Same thing on the project management side, there's no, um, no extra setup you have to do as long as you have your, your setup done for the project management module, uh, you're, you're good to go on that, okay? So let's go ahead and we'll dive in, we'll take a look at, um, we'll, we'll go ahead and start from the very beginning, we'll create a project from scratch, add some item requirements, and then uh, we'll release those to the warehouse and then invoice that on out, okay? So let's dive right in and take a look. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and create a new project, so I'm gonna call it, go to new here, and the project name, I'm going to call this uh, Vehicle Maintenance. And Project Contract ID, I'll create a new one. I'm just going to call it US-004. And Funding Source is going to be Customers US-004. And the Sales Currency will fill in automatically for us there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and create Project. Now what we're going to do is we need to change the status of the project. It's, it's basically uh, an open or first status, and you can change these settings on the, on the project management module. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm first going to advance the uh, status so I can add an item requirement. So I'm going to go underneath the project tab and project stage, and then I'm going to mark that in process. It's going to ask me to update the project in process, and then there we go. All right, so then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add the item uh, requirement onto the project. And normally you'd have multiple item requirements, but in this case, we're only going to have one item requirement, okay? So we're just gonna have one item requirement, but just know that you'll, a lot of times you'll have, or almost every time, you'll probably have more than one item requirement there. All right, so we're gonna go under the plan, and we're gonna go under item requirements, and then we'll do a new. And the item number I'm gonna to use today is a 51515 and I'm going to use warehouse 24 today, so I'm going to put site to warehouse 24, okay? So the next thing you want to make sure you do, you still need to do your reservation on your item, okay? So we're going to do this right from the project mod module here. So let's go ahead and we're going to go underneath the manage here, and then under inventory, we're going to go do reservation, and then we're just going to do the reserve lot. That'll reserve our item, and then we can close that, okay? So now that we've done the reservation, we, we also need to release the item to the warehouse now. So you can go to the sales order, and I'm, I'm gonna show you here in just a second the sales order, but we're gonna do it from the project module, but let's, let's go take a look at the sales order that actually gets created first. Um, so if I go into, uh, go and duplicate that tab there and create a new tab, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the uh, sales and marketing module. Let's just take a look at what gets created. So we're gonna go to sales and marketing, and then we're going to go to all sales orders. And then down here at the bottom now, we've got an, got an item requirement sales order, right? So if I go and look at this. So I've got my uh, sales order here for our 51515 for one. Now, incidentally, the same project is going to use the same sales order over and over again. So if I go back and add other item requirements, it's going to add items to this sales order. So this sales order will be continually used for the item requirements for this particular project, okay? So if we take a look at this sales order, we can go ahead and we, we can release to the warehouse from this particular sales order. I'm not gonna do it from here. Like I said, I'm gonna go back and, and do it through the project, okay? All right, so from the project, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to the manage, and then you have your load planning workbench that you can use here as well. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and do the release to warehouse. Okay, so that should create a release, and then we'll we'll see that our our uh, our wave has been posted there. Okay, so what we can do now is we can go and look at our work. So 
let's go and we'll go back to the sales order to do that. We'll look, take a look at the work that was created. We'll go to the work details. We have our work here. It's going to tell us to pick from uh, pick ten and move it to bay door. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. And, I'm just going to complete it from here. I'm not going to use the uh, the mobile device to complete it, but you'd normally use the mobile device to complete it from here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do work, and then we'll go ahead and complete work. And I'm going to put in my user ID, and we'll pick that, and then we're going to validate. I think it's valid, and then we're going to go ahead and complete the work. All right, so that's completed successfully. Now, the other thing you do have to do is you do have to go ahead and complete the shipment or confirm the shipment. Um, so I'm going to do that right here from the work, work screen here. Um, but... So this is basically the same flow as the uh, the sales order process, but we're going to complete the work or, or confirm the shipment next. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right from here. We're going to go ahead and go to the, go to the shipment, and all we're going to do is we're going to hit the confirm shipment, and then that's confirmed that particular shipment. Okay. So if you think about the sales order process, the next step is to go ahead and generate the packing slip. We're going to go ahead and do that as well. You can do that from the sales order. I'm going to do it from the project. So let's go back into the project and um, we're going to go back under, we're still in the item requirement screen and then we're going to go back to the manage and then we're going to go to posting and then packing slip. And that's going to generate our packing slip for us. And we're going to go ahead and say, okay. And going to say, okay to that. All right. So that's completed. So if you think about it, the next step is to generate an invoice. Now, on the using the project management item requirement, you don't generate the invoice from the actual sales order. What we're going to do is we're going to go back in the project, create an invoice proposal, and post that. Okay. So let's look at the steps for that. I'm going to go ahead and close out of the item requirement here, and then I'm going to go underneath the manage tab, and then I'm going to go to a new invoice proposal, and then we're going to go ahead and say okay. Oh, I need to select my transactions. I need to make sure I select my transactions. Then I'm going to hit OK. All right, so that's, this is going to create our invoice proposal. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and post. And we're going to say OK to that. And OK to the print. And that's created our our invoice. All right. So if we go back now and take a look at our item requirement, so I'm going to go back to plan and go in and take a look at the item requirement. You notice that it doesn't show up here in, in the screen anymore. And that's because the screen is marked as active. But if we go and take a look at all, we'll see this item requirement and then see that it's been invoiced. All right. So if we go ahead and click on and change this from active to all. So there's our item requirement. And if we look over here at the line status, it's going to say invoiced. Now, if we go and take a look at the sales order as well, uh, we can go in and take a look at, let's get out of the shipment and get out of this work. And we'll be back at the sales order. So if we go and refresh this screen, we'll notice that the uh, sales order now is marked as invoiced. Okay. So today we've taken a look at the project management item requirement and how to release that to the warehouse and pick it through the advanced warehouse. Okay. So, the steps are really uh, mir closely mirror the sales order process. So you're going to add your item in your item requirement. You're going to do your reservation. Then you're going to release it to the warehouse. Go ahead and pick it, your normal pick flow, confirm your shipment, generate your package slip, and generate your invoice. Okay? So I hope you found some value in this. If you're using the project management module, know that you can use advanced warehouse with it. Um, so again, hope you found some value in this. Please like the video and give it a thumbs up. Also, I put out a video about once or twice a week on some different Dynamics 365 content. Feel free to subscribe to get notified when I upload a new video. Okay, so again, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching. See you later.